Hey everyone, it's me. Everyone knows Dave. And as always, I have a question. Ever wanted to make things go boom in Daisy? Ever wanted to hand someone a can of food and it explode in their hands? <laughs> well, yeah, me too. And today, we're going to show you how to do it. But first, we would like to thank Everyone Knows Jack, the youngest developer in the Legends development team. He allowed us to take apart his teddy bear grenade and make a version we can all easily use to create any explosive we like. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the link in the description because there's always a link in the description. And this is the mod that uh, we've made from a modification of the mod made by Everyone Knows Jack, as we mentioned in the intro. Again, thank you very much for the assistance. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to subscribe to this wonderful mod. There we go. And then we're going to boot our Daisy as we always do and allow Daisy to download said mod. Which obviously you're not going to see it do here because I've already done it. But a nice green bar will appear at the bottom of here and say that it's done. So now, as always, I'm going to assume you've never made a mod before and you've got absolutely no idea what you're doing. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your Steam. You're going to go to your library and you're going to go to your home. Now at the top drop down here, you're going to make sure that you've got this tools box select because that's it's quite important. Once you've made sure you've got that selected, you're going to scroll down and you're going to install Daisy Tools. Now, obviously, if you already have Daisy Tools installed, then that's absolutely fantastic. What a wonderful sausage you are. If not, you're going to need to install it. So, once we've got it installed, we're going to launch our wonderful Daisy Tools. Now, you've been presented with this window. You just click Play Daisy Tools, like so. And hey, presto. Now, again, if this is your first time, there is something very important you need to do. You need to go to the tools here, and you need to, you need to extract the game data. Now, this is a little bit of a process that will take a little bit of time, so if you haven't done this already, and this is your first time doing this, feel free to pause the video and go and have yourself a coffee or a beer or a biscuit or whatever your, you know, your personal poison is, until that's completed doing it, uh, its own little jiggery-pokery. Once that is done, or if you've already done that, you're going to need to mount drive P. Now, a box will appear that says yes or no, and you click yes. Okay, so... We've got Daisy Tools running, we've got our game data extracted, and we've got our drive mounted. Time to go back to Daisy itself and go to that mod. Now the mod was called Make Your Own Grenades, as you see it here. Now obviously, if you, I already have it loaded, so it's at the top. Remember, you can search here, and you can search like that, and then it'll show it. You want to drop the down arrow here, and the three dots here. And you want to open folder in Windows Explorer. I understand. So what you're going to do is you're going to open this mod. And what you'll find is three files. You'll find the usual files that you're uh, accustomed with, add-ons and keys. We're going to ignore those for now. We're going to open this folder here that says Creation Files. Inside there you will see a folder called Improvised Grenade. What you're going to do is you're going to copy that folder, like so. You're going to go to your newly mounted P drive, which for me is on the left here. If you haven't used it before, you may have to go to this PC and then open P. And I'm going to get rid of that because you won't have that. And then you're going to paste that into here. Excellent. Okay, we have the files on our P that are required in order to do this. So now let's start making our own grenade. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this and we're going to open the data. And inside there you will see a config.cpp. We are going to open this config, and it all looks very confusing to you. Oh my, it's so confusing, but don't panic. What we're going to do first is we're going to pick what we're going to change the grenade to. Now, in order to do this, as we scroll down here, you will see a number of important lines. This one here that says model, DZ gear, radio, walkie-talkie. And then you will see one here that says walkie-talkie co.paa. And then one here that says RVMAT, and then this one that says RVMAT is repeated four, uh, five times down here. Now, all of these reference to an item within the core of DayZ. So, let's go get that item. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our P drive. Now, we've got all these files here, and the reason we've got all these files here is because we've extracted the game data. Now, what we want is the graphic the texture for something specific that we want to make into a grenade. For this example, I'm going to turn an alarm clock into a grenade. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this DZ folder here. Now, in here is the majority of almost everything that's in DayZ. Now, I'm going to go into gear 
because that's where most of the gear is, as you can probably guess. I'm going to go into tools because I happen to know the alarm clock is in there. So now I'm in the DZ gear tools, as you can see at the top. I'm going to look for the alarm clock and there it is. Now, what the first thing we're going to go for is the P3D. So this is alarmclock.p3d. I'm going to copy this name. And then I'm going to go over to here. And I'm going to change the P3D to alarm clock. Now, don't rush ahead because that's not going to work. If we look at this and we look at the P, we can see that this says DZ gear radio alarm clock, whereas this says DZ gear tools. So we need to change the radio here to say tools. Now, jobs are good and we have the P3D set up. However, all the other ones are obviously still wrong. So what we need next is the PAA. Now we're going to find that in the data folder inside here. So inside the same folder where you found your P3D will be a data folder. You will open that and look, here we go. Now what we want is we want the one that starts with co because that means it will take every color. So we want this alarm clock code up PAA from here. And we want to change that PAA here to alarm clock. Now, obviously, we've got the same problem again. See, this is DZ gear tools data, whereas this is DZ gear radio data. So we're going to change the radio for tools. Or if you've chosen to do something other than alarm clock, whatever folder that was in. Next, we have the RV mat. Now, again, that will also be in here. So if we look through, there it is, look, alarm clock RV map. So we will copy that too. In it goes, remember, and of course, to change this for whatever folder it was, which we happen to know, uh, wrong one, uh, we happen to know was tools. Now what we can do for this last line is we can grab this bit in between the brackets for the RV map. All five of these just need to be exactly the same. So we're just going to dump them in between the speech marks using copy and paste. I'm using control plus C and control plus V. If you're wondering how I'm copying and pasting so quickly, it's a keyboard shortcut. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that's going to turn it into um, an alarm clock into a grenade. But wait, if we just put that in, it's going to have compatibility issues with other mods. Why? Because it shares a name. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go edit, replace. And we're going to replace your with whatever it is that you're calling your grenade. In this, in this case, I'm going to call it alarm clock. I'm also going to spell alarm correctly. And we're going to call it alarm clock. And we're going to click replace all. And there we go. You see now it says alarm clock grenade, alarm clock grenade ammo. And if we go down, you'll notice there's now no your. And even here it says class alarm clock grenade. Brilliant. Now, we have one little thing left to change in here, which is the display name and uh, a short description. So, in this case, I'm going to put explosive alarm clock. And we're going to describe it as it's timed to blow. There we go. Fantastic. And now what we're going to do is we're going to save that. But wait, we made a mistake, and those with a keen eye will have spotted it. When we copied in the RV mat line, we accidentally left something behind. Now, we're looking at the RV mat line again, so if you go back down, if you did the same thing, you might have accidentally done this as well. We've left extra speech marks. There should only ever be one set of speech marks at the start and one set of speech marks at the end. If you leave the other one, you will get an error, so double-check and make sure you haven't done that too. Brilliant. So... Back to our P drive, back into our improvised grenade. The data one in there is the one we just edited. Now we're going to edit this config.cpp. And in here, it's going to have our directory. Now we do not change that. We do not change that. Now, you can change that because you are making it, but it'd be very respectful if you left credits as everyone knows Jack, because he did write these scripts and it took him a little bit of time. But there is one last thing you need to, need to change. As you'll notice, these both say walkie bomb. That's because it's a walkie, because I set it as that. So I'm going to set this as alarm C bomb. And we need to change both of those to something unique, but they both must match. Fantastic. We save that. And just like that, that mod is now ready to pack. So let's pack it and upload it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our P and we're going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this one Alarm Bomb. 
You can call it whatever you want, doesn't matter. What does matter is inside it, there must be a folder called add-ons, not a shortcut. There's going to be a folder called add-ons and a folder called keys. Very important, other mods simply will not work. Now we go back to our tools and we go to our add-on builder. We ensure that this button here is unticked. We press these three buttons here. We drop down our P and we select the improvised grenade folder, not the data, the folder. We press OK. We do these three dots here. We go down and we select the folder we just created, alarm bomb. We drop it down and we select the add-ons inside it. Excellent. And we click pack. And look at that, the build was a success. So now what we do is we go to DS Utils back on our Daisy tools. We click add a source directory in the top here. We come down to add-ons in alarm bomb or whatever you called yours. Fantastic. It's it's loaded there and says it's not signed. We press the N. We jab this little folder here and we go inside the keys folder that we just made. So alarm bomb or whatever you called it, keys. We give it a nice name. I'm going to give it uh, clock bomb. There we go. And we press create key. Brilliant. And now we click process. Yes. And the green line's gone at the bottom, so it's processed. Brilliant. We close that. We go back to our P and we go in our alarm bomb. We go in our keys and we copy private key and text. We copy that out and we, we put it anywhere on our computer as long as it's safe. I like to put mine on P so I remember where they are. And then we go back in and we delete the by, uh, the by private key and the text, leaving the by key. It's very important. That's your proof that you made this mod. Now what we're going to do is we're going to publish it. So we go back to our Daisy tools. We go to our publisher. We set this to public or no one else will be able to see it. We give it a nice name. We're going to call this Alarm Clock Grenade. We go for this folder here. We go on to the P. And you select just the folder it's in. So in this case, Alarm Bomb. And you will see that it's popped up and said that all are signed. Fantastic. We give it a description. I'm going to say it's an alarm clock that goes boom. And we publish it. Now, don't rush ahead. I have to say this every time because it's a bad habit of people rushing ahead at this point and going to test it and then asking me why it has a workshop meta of zero. I'll show you why. We close this. We go straight back to it on the left. Alarm clock grenade. We go straight back to the content, click in the alarm bomb again, we select it and we update it at least once. We don't even have to change any of the description, we just have to update it at least once. Otherwise, it simply won't work. Okay, so now we're going to go to the mod. Now you can use the open web page or you can go to your own workshop. And as always, subscribe to it as normal. I've got to close my publisher down now because there's no sense in having that open. And obviously, as usual, Daisy, when it catches up, will decide to download the mod for you. Here we go. Alarm clock grenade was updated. So, let's put this in a server and show you it working. So, I'm going to go and grab the files as we do with any normal server uh, mod input. I'm going to put it in my server here. This is a nice little LAN test server we've got. Obviously, this will work on rented or dedicated. Pop that in there as always, we grab the name as always, we take it to our bat file or your start parameter if you're running rented. Bug it in the end there. Okay, so let's boot this test server up. So I'll give that uh, Test server a hot minute to load, and while we're waiting, since you happen to be waiting, I happen to be showing you something else amazingly, stupidly simple. Why not drop below and make that special little subscribe button, say subscribe, and maybe even give me a thumbs up, because, you know, that's what helps support YouTube creators, and I would be so thankful. Looks like the server's booted, so I should stop waffling on and get Daisy launched, so we can uh, have a look and test this.
Okay, well, here we are. We're in game. My admin tools are on. Let's spawn us an alarm grenade. There it is, alarm grenade. Do we have a preview? We do look. It looks like a, a clock to me. It's in my inventory now. It looks like a clock. It's time to blow. Let's inspect it. Definitely looks like a clock. Although its arms seem to have fallen off slightly. Probably something to do with putting a bomb in it. But what we're going to do is we're going to unpin it. We're going to chuck it. And we're going to watch it. There is the alarm clock. Just a normal everyday alarm clock. Nothing to see here at all. And kaboom! There it goes. So yes, I have been Everyone Knows Dave. And this is how you turn almost anything into a grenade and again just to say it one more time a massive thank you to everyone knows jack the youngest developer of the legends for creating the teddy bear grenade and allowing us to take it apart and show you how you can use it to make almost any grenade you want i have been out everyone knows dave thank you and good night